Power Reading 25 Strategies That Good Readers Use Welcome to your first online mini lesson to learn more about good reader strategies. You've already taken the self-assessment to determine your knowledge and use of 25 strategies that good readers use. Let's think about the meaning of the word strategy. It's a military term that comes from the Greek strategia, meaning generalship, commander, or leader. The strategies give readers command over the reading process, victory in the battle for comprehension. We all like to be in charge, to be the boss. These strategies make you the boss of yourself in the reading process. They are tools for learning. If used, they allow you to be an active, independent, autonomous learner. Here's an overview of this mini lesson. First, we will review the definition for reading we use in this class. Second, we'll review briefly all six of the before reading strategies. Finally, we'll focus specifically on the first of these. I set a purpose for reading. Reading is active construction of meaning before, during, and after you read. Let's take this definition apart to get a deeper understanding of what it means. By the, by the way, this model is a very good way to understand any complex definition for any course. Take it apart and consider the meaning of each part. In other words, construct the meaning. Let's start with key phrases. Reading is active construction of meaning. Active refers to active thinking activities. Construction suggests building. Here's an analogy to visualize the concept. Think about building a house. Builders start by putting up the exterior shell, pouring a foundation, putting up studs for walls, insulation, and roof. This is followed by interior walls, wiring, and plumbing systems. Then interior finishing work, such as lighting, woodwork, painting, cabinets, appliances, floors, etc. So when the house goes on the market, it is something completely different and much more complex beautiful and useful than when the process began. Reading is like that too. We take certain cognitive actions, that is we do some thinking before we read, we engage in more thinking and constructing of meaning while we're reading, and when we have finished the assignment we think some more and create even more meaning. This is known as deep processing and it is the kind of reading that changes your brain makes it grow and changing your, changes your understanding of yourself and of life. Think of what it's like to stand on the shore and look out over an ocean. It's a very pleasant sight but can very quickly become rather boring. However, if you strap on diving gear and dive deep, you will encounter the most amazing underwater world of critters and creatures to delight your imagination that you would never know were there unless you made the effort to find them. That's what deep processing of text is like. It literally makes you smarter. There aren't very many human activities that can make this claim. Now let's look at those before reading strategies. I set a purpose for reading. I preview, get an overview of what I'm about to read. I activate my background knowledge. I recognize when my background knowledge, my schema, may be inadequate and may inf interfere with my comprehension. I know how to and do build up my background knowledge at appropriate times. I confidently and eagerly approach reading tasks. We'll look more closely at all of these pre-reading strategies in other lessons, but we'll look at setting a purpose in this lesson. Think about how you typically approach a reading assignment. Do you first check to see how many pages it is? Then you start reading the first paragraph and continue to the end of the assignment, maybe checking periodically to see how many pages are left. Then you close the book and go do something else. This is very passive reading, not active. When students are asked to name their most common reading problems, these two are always at the top. Can't remember what I read, can't stay focused while I'm reading. That's because they aren't using the active reading strategies. Setting a purpose will greatly help combat the common comprehension problems. What do we mean by 
purpose. Active readers have many purposes for reading, so let's divide some of those into academic purposes and personal purposes. As a college student, you will probably be tested on what you read, so you will want to read for the purpose of identifying what may be on a possible test and to do well on the test. Reading is a primary means of learning course content. College courses prepare you for a job and life after school, so it's important for you to learn that course material for a better quality of life. In this course, you will be reading to learn and practice new reading strategies, to learn about great writing, and to learn great words. Word study seems to be a particular favorite with students. In addition to the academic purposes for reading, readers may have personal purposes for reading. These may include reading for pleasure, enjoyment, and escape, learning about complex life issues, learning about others, increasing functional intelligence. Now that we have a better idea of reader purposes, why is it important to have one or more in mind when you start reading? Because you will read differently for each purpose. You will focus on different details, choose specific strategies to fit the purpose. This helps you to stay focused while you're reading and to remember what you read. Passive reading is a waste of precious time. Active reading is satisfying and fulfilling and produces comprehension and college success. Active reading builds confidence. And guess what? It makes reading a lot more enjoyable. In this course, you will practice setting a purpose for reading for all of your assignments to help you focus on and remember what you read. As with all the strategies, the goal is to use them often enough that they will become something you do without thinking about it. We'll be applying the strategies to some amazing books. If you deep process, you will have an amazing deep diving experience. Happy reading!